everybody it's your girl Evie and I'm coming back to you again with another video welcome back if you first joined here thank you so much for being here this video however is about who do you want to return to law and order now I got two categories here two people munch or Barbara yeah that's right munch or Barbara if we could bring some of our favorite SVU characters back to the show which ones would you bring now I favor so many but these two are definitely definitely my favorites of the people who have left the show Munch and Barbara now John Munch John Munch was partners with Brian Cassidy y'all remember uh, Monique Jeffries and Odafin or Finn as we know him and Nick Amaro but he was especially close to Finn we know Munch was an officer before and retired in 1999. Now he took the job with the NYPD while living off retirement, off his pension, and was assigned to the Special Victims Unit. Now he was a detective in Baltimore, and I'm reading some stuff for you guys. He was a senior detective in Baltimore, a senior detective with the NYPD 16th Precinct, a sergeant with the uh, detective squad of the NYPD 16th Precinct with the Special Victims Unit, and he was a special investigator with the New York County District Attorney's Office. And he did that from 2013 to the present. Now we know he's retired. And I miss him because his brain man, his brain was on everything. I mean, he could figure it out. He was a great investigator. And I feel like the SVU needs another great investigator. Like Kat is on that path, but she's not quite there yet. So that's why I say I, I think they need another great investigator. Now he did take some temporary assignments. He was an acting commanding officer. He was an acting commanding officer with the special uh, victims unit. And then he was a sergeant. So, you know, he came a long way. Now, in season 13, when Captain Cragen was absent, Munch acted as the squad commander. As I was saying, he was temporarily assigned to the cold case unit after he solved a decade old child abduction case can you imagine getting a cold case and you're actually able to solve it after 10 something years or more but then he returns to the svu with them to say i got another case i'd like for you guys to help me to solve so like i said his legal investigative mind um the fact that he knows the legal system in and out is ridiculous um, I'm steady looking at my candle here. I love this candle. The smell of lemon. Oh my gosh. Uh, anyway, getting back to what I was saying. Sorry about that, guys. I got distracted. Let's stay focused. Now, on the other hand, we got Raphael Barba. Now, he was an ADA. And he was assigned to the, set, uh, the Crimes Bureau, I think it was. He was the replacement for Cabot, right? Novak and Hayden and Cutter in season 14. Now he's a no-nonsense kind of guy who will do whatever it takes to win a case, right? He puts pressure where pressure is needed on whoever he needs it to have so he can get there. Now he's meticulous, he's careful, he's rational, he's to the point, and he's helped SVU win many, many cases. And he was intricate in doing so. And he's successful. Sorry guys. Gatorade anyway like I was saying he was such a good part of the team and sometimes he lacked compassion but it wasn't because he wasn't a compassionate person it's just he knew the legal ins and outs of the legal system and he knew what he needed to do to be successful he knew what he needed to do in order to win and sometimes that would come across as abrasive or less compassionate. And sometimes him and Olivia would get into it about that. But Barb was a sweet guy. We know that because we've seen him now. And it's interesting because the reason why he left his position after 21 years of working as a prosecutor was due to just that, his compassion. Now, in 2018, Barbara turned the life support off of a baby boy who was suffering terribly from MDDS. Now it left the child brain dead and the machinery was the only thing that was keeping this baby alive. And he would have been required to keep him that way 
for the rest of his life or to maintain life because basically he was already gone but when he did that with his compassion for this child and the fact that this child should just go on to Jesus you know he was subsequently charged with second degree murder he even had to hire an attorney to represent him now he was eventually acquitted of murder and exonerated but it left him hurt and traumatized and that's why he resigned now he leaves the SVU and becomes a defense attorney and his first case was representing the military veteran on trial for killing his daughter's rapist. You guys remember Mickey, right? The veteran, he was disabled, and his daughter, he didn't have uh, custody of his daughter. He was trying to work toward custody of his daughter. Um, the mom was a prostitute, and he wanted his daughter back. She went into the foster care system, and during that time, she went to a foster care family, and the guy, the father, ended up you know, sexually assaulting her, and um well basically you know that and he got her pregnant well he lost it and mickey killed him now his client barbara's client mickey eventually got convicted of secondary manslaughter and he got the minimum of three years barbara was up against carisi in this particular one which was good because we know carisi honors barbara like he loves him his summations are things that he goes to all the time and he likes his style so for him to go up against barbara it was something else it was more than i expected i expected barbara to win but he didn't and uh, i was really proud of carisi that he did so if you have either back if you could have either one of them back would you choose much for his investigative mind, for his crime solving skills, or would you choose Barbara for his prosecution, for his legal leads that he knows, his compassion, yet his firmness? Would you pick Munch or Barbara? Barbara or Munch? Now in the new series that's coming out, Law and Order for the Defense, I hope to see Barbara in some form, in a cameo, and a cameo from Munch wouldn't be that bad either. These are both huge influences in the SVU team. They work so well with them, and they will never be forgotten. I love both of these guys, but if I had a choice, are you asking me who I would pick? Oh, you're asking me? Okay. I would bring them both back. I don't know if I could pick just one. Barbara to teach young lawyers about the system and the legalese and about compassion and about doing what's right. And then Munch for his investigative mind is priceless. He's so smart. There are things that he thinks of that nobody else was thinking of. And he works so hard to find the answers. <coughs> Excuse me. What do you think? Which one? Munch, Barbara. If you want to see more content like this, let me know. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I appreciate you guys being here today. I'm going to be coming back to you with a couple more videos. Some of them are going to be really deep. And some of them are just going to be light and funny. But either way, I need you guys to come on back. I love you guys. Thank you so much. And you guys know to Law & Order On.